Hey guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, and one of the big events about to take place is Razzle Dazzle Basil World. This is where the watchmaking world reveals their latest creations. Now, the big, big, big talk is Rolex. Rolex. Let's be honest, guys. Uh, SIHH, that was the non Rolex event. Razzle Dazzle Basil World has Patek Philippe and Rolex. As far as the steel sports genre is concerned, that is the top of the heap. So, Razzle Dazzle Basil World. What are we going to see? What do we want to see? So, I thought I'd put this video together and uh, we'd have a bit of a chat. Razzle Dazzle Basil World. And I wanted to share some creations I'd like to see Rolex doing. And one of the first things I'd like to see Rolex do is what they did with the Tudor Black Bay Heritage, which is really the Tudor Submariner. They've brought it a little bit bigger, but what they did was they have reissued a vintage piece. They very, very nicely, they re issued a vintage piece and I'd like to see them do the same thing. This is my Breitling Super Ocean. I'd like to see Rolex release, reissue a um, Submariner. No crown guards. No crown guards. That's right guys. I want to go for the puritanical look there. I think it's very very elegant to have a diver without the burden of cum cumbersome crown guards so that's that's one thing i'd really like to see there the other things i'd like to see wowzers guys i'd like to see a two-tone explorer 2 that's right two-tone explorer 2 steel and gold maybe a steel and rose gold version uh what else would i love to see happen i would love to see now the original milgausers uh, well, the most popular, most famous vintage is the 1019. But they had a version of the Milgauss that had a Submariner type of, of bezel, the bezel. And uh, I'd love to see uh, Rolex Milgauss with a sub-type bezel on it. I reckon that would be cool. That would be super, super cool. Now, my good friends at Rolex Passions Report, check that website out, Rolex Passions Report, they actually were saying the same thing. They really liked a uh, Milgauss, Milgauss with the sub bezel. The other great thing they were looking at was how about an Explorer 2, they didn't say two-tone, that's my idea. How about an Explorer 2 with a ceramic fixed bezel? Now, I had you all you guys there know I had the Tissot, which had a fixed ceramic bezel. Why couldn't Rolex put a fixed ceramic bezel on the Explorer 2? The other thing I'd love to see, what would I really get wet panties over? I tell you this now. What about if Rolex on the, uh, the Note 8 Sub, how about you brought out an Explorer dial version, just like Tudor did, with the Bronzo, you know, the bronze version of uh, the Tudor Black Bay Heritage. And they added a 369 dial. That would be killer, an Explorer dial, because they did that. You look at the archives, the archives of the Rolex production. They had a 5513, it's a no date sub plastic, with an Explorer dial. And I think the 369 piece of a la resistance. Very, very cool indeed. So um, that's, a, that's a couple of thoughts there. What else would I like to see happen? What else would I like to see happen? There's a lot of things I'd like to see them do. I'd like to see this year that they drop the deep sea. Drop the James Cameron. Drop the deep sea. It's too big. It's too big. 44 mil monsters. I know there's hormones in the chicken, but that was fucking ridiculous. So let's kill that. I would also like them to uh, maybe kill the Yachtmaster 2. Yachtmaster 2. I reckon that would be a cool thing. Get rid of that. 
Ah, what else would I like to see them do? What else would I like to see them do? I want to be put out of my misery. I want to be put out of my misery with the Rolex Sea Dweller, the 43 mil Sea Dweller with the red writing. Are you going to stop the red writing? Please put me out of my misery. Please put me out of my misery. And uh, I'd love to see maybe a, um, instead of red writing, how about orange or green writing? That'd be really cool. Something, just a twist on that there. That'd, that'd get the collector's panties sweating. And uh, I gotta tell you now, I gotta tell you, there's so many magic things I'd like to see happen uh, with Rolex. Rolex itself. That I'd also like to see, this is the biggest rumor of the lot, I saw the promo to the Basel World 2018, and I could swear I saw a a sports case like a GMT or an Explorer 2 sports case with a Jubilee bracelet. Oh my God, a Jubilee. Bring Jubilee bracelet back into the sports range because <clears throat> sports, dress watches are dead. The sports watch is now the new dress watch. So what would you say about a, a Batman with a Jubilee bracelet? Man, that would be... Amazing. That'd be amazing with the concealed clasp. I, I reckon that could have legs. Yes, indeed. That could definitely have legs. Just some bracelet options. Woo Reintroducing Jubilee. Because they used to have the Jubilee on the Explorer 1. You could get it on the Explorer 2. You could get it on most of the models there. The bracelet was a secondary thing. It's only in recent time that they made the sports range on the Oyster. So everything new is old again. Everything old is new again, etc., etc., vice versa. These are some amazing ideas that I'd like to see. Please, guys, tell me what things you'd like to see Rolex do at Basel World 2018. Comments below. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and tell me what you guys think will come true. Okay, let's have a look. Rolex Passions Report. Let's see. New for Basel World. Mm, let's take a look. 2018 Basel World releases. Now, let's, let's have a look. These are some amazing pictures that uh, Rolex Passion, Re Passion Report puts together. They just want to show you what some, uh, some Photoshop pictures of what could be out. Take a look at that Milgauss. My God, look at it. Rotating bezel, red writing, red triangle, and ready, red tip on the second hand. Uh, we've got a two-tone Daytona with a ceramic diesel. Uh, oh, we got a, we got a, uh, we've got a uh, Coke, a Coke GMT on a Jubilee. And take a look at the new Explorer, red writing. Uh, that is, that is very, very sexy. Um, there's some, some amazing speculation here. This, um, this GMT is really quite amazing. Um, a new bracelet. Now, in the Basel World promo, which is a, a, a thing they're releasing, there was a sports-cased watch with a Jubilee bracelet. I mean, this is, this is a highly hot contender. Um, what else is there? Um, if we have a look, um, if we have a look at some of the other crazy, crazy predictions, let's let's just 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 see what they um what they've they 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 felt there. Now, look at this. We're just looking at some of the the previous releases. The uh, the red sea dweller, the sea dweller without the cyclops. Look at that. <clears throat> Could it be done? Highly possible. Highly, highly possible indeed. Um, the They're saying that this is to end the 65th anniversary of the Mount Everest conquest. 
Uh, what do you think of that? A red explorer? Yes, sir. And is it a hollow hollow numerals there? I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it it certainly could be. Um, let's keep looking. The deep sea. Wow! Look at this. Look at this. This is just some amazing speculation. Oh, they could have a deep blue. Look at the 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 uh, the dial there. That's a that's a cool combo. Um, the Daytonas, we love, we always love our Daytonas. What do you think of this? The um, a bicolor, bicolor Rolex Daytona ceramic, ceramic with the ceramic bezel. Wow, what do you reckon? I ah, oh, it does look pretty damn amazing. <clears throat> Two different versions there. Yes, sirree. Um, that that could be. That Milgauss with the rotating bezel would be amazing. It's a completely different look to the piece. Um, it's very different. The bezel's got a different appearance to sort of like the um, the subs or the GMT. So that that could be something very, very interesting. Um, look at this. Here's a, another slight variation here. Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, few different... I gotta tell you, the Milgauss. If they put a Submariner type bezel on it, I think that thing could really explode. It could really, really go crazy. Um, that's something I'd love. Here we go. Here's one of the vintage. This is what the the Milgauss. Um, this is a. Oh, this was a six five four one Milgauss. That's right. This is before the one oh one nine. Uh, that was the hood of the famous Milgauss, which is very, very valuable. But look at this with the rotating bezel there. Look at that. Absolutely stunning pieces indeed. So um, i I got to tell you, what's this here? This is a um, all-blue GMT Master. Wow. Look at that. I Wow. Wow. So Okay. Oh, guys, I forgot there. I forgot to tell you guys, I stuffed up one of my video ads. Mmm. You know the ad I did for Crypto Trends? Well, sorry, just a bit of depression eating, depression eating. Anyhow. The ad I did for Crypto Trends, I advertised it as Crypto Trends 2018. It's just Crypto Trends, guys. I made a mistake. Cut me some slack, would you? Crypto Trends. Go and check them out, guys. Crypto Trends. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, Paul Pluto Channel. And my good friend... Tanzillin, Tanzillin, answering super chats. It's not about the money. It's not about the money. I feel like I'm doing my passion. Tanzillin, simply the best. And uh, he's got another one for you here. How's this? Uh, it's uh, not about the money. It's not about the money. It's uh, my passion. Shaitling on time. Simply the best. Now, guys, I gotta tell you, I struggle to survive full time on YouTube. Please look in the description below for 10 ways you can keep me full time on YouTube. Guys, I really need your help. Please consider getting a paid, paid video review. I'll do a review on any watch, any question you want. Guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. You can sponsor me for as little as a dollar a month. A dollar a month. And that just keeps me going on full time on YouTube. Guys, you could also, I do phone calls, phone calls, you can talk to me for an hour on the phone, Skype or WhatsApp, for 50 US dollars. Guys, I really do need your help to stay full time. Ben cannot survive on Google Ads alone. Please help me, please help me stay full time on YouTube. And guys, don't forget that, it's not about the money, it's my passion. 
Shakling on time. Simply the best. Tanzillin, thank you. That's a sponsored bit from Tanzillin. I can do that for $150 a month if you email me directly. Look below for my email address, guys. Yeah.